Thomas puffed across the countryside. Even with his light on, Thomas knew he had to be very careful. Thomas found James broken down on the tracks. Teased Thomas. James was upset. But when Thomas got behind James, he couldn't see ahead. Said Thomas, James was cross. He pouted. Puffed Thomas. James didn't want the children to be sad, so he agreed to look out for Thomas and they set off together. And when the tracks were straight and clear, James called out. And Thomas did. They were soon working happily together and making good time. Sir Topham Hatt checked his watch. There was still no sign of Thomas or James. He thought. Even Gordon was worried, said Sir Topham Hatt. So the disappointed children started to board the coaches. At last, they could see the signal lights. The signal had turned red. Thomas and James stopped. Puzzled James. Puffed Thomas. Cried James. Thomas and James were very upset. They cried, and they sounded their whistles as loudly as they could, but no one could hear them. The children were all on board. Gordon was ready to depart. Then Thomas had a bright idea. He told his driver, so his driver carefully lit a rocket. He stood well back as it whooshed into the sky. The rocket burst into stars, cried Sir Topham Hat. He said, the junction signal turned green and Thomas and James were soon on their way. James and Thomas were soon at the station. The children cheered. Cried James happily, agreed Thomas. Boom, Sir Topham Hat. That night, Thomas and James watched the fireworks together, said James proudly. Puffed Thomas.